Hey, welcome back, Johnny here, and today I want to go over another subscriber stock pick, Xylem, or XYL. Now, I did have a subscriber request for me to do a video on this, so that's what I'm going to do today. So let's get into it. Now, for everyone that doesn't know, a Xylem is a water solutions and technology company. They manufacture uh, a lot of different technologies and applications to um, basically collect water, distribute water, and then return water back to the environment. Um, this is a good company to get involved with because obviously water is going to be around forever. We're going to need water to live and sustain our energy and our environment at the correct um, levels and um, they deal with sanitary treatment, testing, and control of systems. Good company to get involved in. Uh, I pulled up them on the website here. Um, they have commitments in its annual sustainability, Denver Water Drive sustainable water strategies to reuse water, California support to recycle water as well, um, Zyla named Water Technology Company of the Year, so this is a great company to get involved in. Uh, they're also volunteering in Puerto Rico. And um, they have different partnerships with other water technology companies. Um, and they just have a more efficient, reliable way of operating and better, uh, smarter solutions for their technology. They sell products like submersible pumps and different types of controllers and valves and meters and pretty cool uh, if you haven't checked them out you probably should uh, i love doing videos like this because i get to see uh, companies that i haven't really i guess thought about or really looked into so i really appreciate that from my subscribers um, that give me these ideas to do these videos <clears throat> so anyways at $76, you could buy in at this company. Um, as the title says, it is a strong buy. 67% of 15 analysts rating are saying to buy. The other 33% are saying to hold. Morningstar basically is saying that um, they're favorable long term because of the demographic and economic trends. CEO Decker has streamlined operations and structural improved returns even as organic growth has lagged. And um, as far as the selling rating, uh, it's basically saying mini pumps, valves, and other equipment are far from proprietary and less expensive alternatives exist in many other different applications. Uh, pricing power appears rather modest. They're struggling to achieve meaningful organic growth for the past several years. Um, but, you know, that's just, uh, this is, again, a buy and a sell rating from this same analyst. I believe it's a strong buy. They have a low PE ratio of 37. They have a nice high market cap of 13 billion. <laughs> they have an average volume of around 1 million or so. And um, they didn't trade as high um, on fr uh, today on Monday. So uh, it looks like their earnings per share was above their expected of 71. Their actual earnings per share is 73. So that's really good. They have a nice strong growth. Um, it was founded in 2011, and they employ 16,000 people. Um, not a bad company to get into, guys. Like I said, I've been going over some of the cool stuff. This is something from the street. Uh, um, this is an um, analyst report, stock report from thestreet.com. Uh, the target price for this stock right now is $98. So that's basically $23 from where it is now. That's a good Nice, strong target price. Um, it looks like it's been a buy for some time now, since 2016. As you can see, again, it shows the annual dividend yield there, the annual dividend rate of 84 cents per year. Price change in three months is almost 9% and 25% overall for the year. That's really nice and strong. I like showing the graph. It shows very strong there. So... Basically, they're rating it as a buy based on the convergence of positive investment measures, which should help the stock outperform the majority of stocks that they rate. Basically, some of the highlights for Xylem Inc. is their improved earnings per share by 
over the most recent quarter compared to last year. And they're also showing positive earnings per share growth over the last year as well. Um, they're increasing its bottom line by earnings of $1.84 versus $1.45 prior. And they're expected to be $2.96 in the future. So that's going to be a nice earnings per share for this company. Um, XYL's revenue growth trails the industry's average of 27%. Uh, it rose only 13%, which isn't too bad. It's still growing slowly. Uh, the net operating cash flow has increased $138 million, so they definitely have more money to deal with. And 44% um, is their gross profit margin, which is strong, and it's increased since last year as well. Um, now, investors have apparently begun to recognize positive factors, um, including earnings growth, which has helped the company's shares by 25% over last year, which exceeded the S&P 500 index. Now, that is pretty great. Now, as far as the industry analyst, uh, analysis goes, the machinery industry continues to experience consolidation, globalization, and cost containment, with the biggest companies expected to continue to dominate and generate the most revenues. Um, some of the key players in the industry right now include Caterpillar, Deer, Illinois Toolworks, Cummings, Flowers or FlowServe, and Ingersoll Rand. So, so there's some of the the leading key players in the industry right now. Um, Xylem right here is showing its net income of 370 million. Net sales is in the billions, and their PE ratio is around 36. I believe this is a strong company to buy into. Uh, factors growth five out of five it's got a great rating for growth three out of five for total return four out of five for efficiency which is great four at point five out of five for price volatility which is great 3.5 out of five for solvency and they even have a three point uh, 3.0 out of five for income so I do believe this is a good company to get involved in um, you know maybe hold out if you want to try to wait for a dip you could buy then but as far as that goes um i don't believe there's any bad spot or bad opportunity to buy this company is just going to keep growing uh as far as i see there really hasn't been much um impact on it throughout the years as you can see the one year chart is showing 28 percent with a few opportunities to buy there and then the five-year chart as you can see has 228 percent growth it's not slowing down. I don't believe it's going to slow down anytime soon. This is a good company. Um, as the world's starting to um, get a little more advanced, I believe technology is going to get a little bit more advanced, and this company is also going to hopefully find alternatives to uh, making money and increasing their profits through some of the different technologies they're going to be making for uh, water distribution and recycling so there's a lot more to come for this company it's a great company to get involved in um, definitely a strong buy in my book and guys again if you like this video please subscribe and smash the like button share with a friend or family member that you think might like this and if there's a video you want me to do on a stock you've been thinking about let me know and I could do a video on that all right you guys have a great day